Even though the regular season of Mountain West Volleyball doesn't start until August 25th, a group of all-star players were hard at work over the summer and traveled to Croatia to compete in the European Global Challenge. Hi, I'm Cassie Soto inside the Mountain West Network studio. While the trip might have been a vacation for some players, it was a homecoming for Colorado State's outside hitter, Sonia Chismich, who joins us now. Sonia, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. How amazing of an experience was it being able to travel to your native country with fellow Mountain West players? It was an amazing experience, like all of those girls were really good and it's funny because like going into stuff like that you don't really know how everyone's going to be, like it's easy to kind of like dislike someone because they're one of our biggest opponents, but just like getting to know them and playing against them was really fun and being able to do that at home was even better. My parents came to watch games, my old coaches and my old teammates were there too, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, and kind of being in your home country, did you sort of take on the tour guide role and show your teammates around? Yeah, I kind of had to in some situations could be kind of like, okay, like here you guys are, like we're going to drop you off at this spot and like figure it out. So it made it easier for our team just because I knew my way around. What were some of their reactions? I'm sure maybe it was some players first time to Croatia, maybe playing overseas. What were their reactions to the sites, the people? I'm sure even the food was a little new to them. They all loved it. They really liked the seafood, like we're really big on that. And um, they all loved the Adriatic. They said it was too salty, which was normal to me. But I'm really glad they got to see it and like just appreciate the different culture. Yeah, that's pretty cool that you get a bond with players that you normally compete against during the regular season. Now, as for the tournament itself, the European Global Challenge, I know it gives players the opportunity to compete against teams from all over the world. And the Mountain West team that you were a part of made it the furthest any Mountain West team has ever gone in the tournament, making it all the way to the championship game. What does this say about Mountain West Volleyball and its ability to compete on an international scale? It was really cool and it was kind of hard for us too because so our second game, our semi-final game was against the team um, Maribor Granik and it was just like a team from Slovenia, a professional volleyball team that we played um, kind of like coming into the tournament, like it was just a friendly game and it was actually interesting because we lost to them our first game so knowing that we lost to them like we knew we had to go out and it was just a great experience because we didn't really have anything to lose and it was really cool to be like that first team that made it to the finals. Yeah, that's definitely a great push for Mountain West Volleyball. But zoning in on Colorado State Volleyball, last season was the first time in seven years that the Rams weren't able to win the conference title. So coming into this season, how does that maybe give you an extra push to get back on top? Especially for us older players, it's like weird because we've been a part of that like long streak and the freshmen don't really know much about it. Um, so I feel like it gives us the edge because we all want to start a different, like a new streak and like want to bring the trophy back to Colorado State. So I think we're getting ready for it and everyone wants the trophy back to Colorado State. Well, thank you, Sonia, so much for taking the time to speak with us. We wish you and your teammates the best of luck this season. Colorado State will open up at home versus Duke on August 25th. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Cassie Soto.